Good afternoon. I have been doing some maths, which is dangerous because I'm not very good at maths. But even though I'm not very good at maths, I can see that the stuff that I've discovered is really obvious. So the question is, should you buy a brand new Fiat 500 with electric power or should you buy a brand new Fiat 500 with petrol power? Join me as I do some maths, crunch the numbers and... Um, Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you already know this. But let's find out. According to Auto Trader, a brand new Fiat 500 42 kilowatt 118 horsepower electric car is £27,995 with a 193 mile range. Now that's available on a three year lease deal at 10,000 miles per year. 10,000 miles divided by 193 mile range means that that car is going to need 51 charges per year. Now, Fiat have very kindly published the statistics on what it's going to cost to charge a car. So, if we assume that half of your charges are at home and half of them are in public, then that's between 6.26 pence and 9.83 pence per mile to charge your car. So if we average the two out, that's 8.045 pence per mile. So that means if you're doing 10,000 miles a year in your Fiat 500 42 kilowatt hairdryer, then it's gonna cost you 840 pounds to charge that car over 10,000 miles. Now, I was quite shocked at just how much that was. What would you have said 10,000 miles in an EV would have cost? I would have thought it'd be way less than that, but it's not. The tax on that car is zero, which means three years, 10,000 miles a year, 30,000 miles, 2,520 pounds to run your Fiat 500 EV. So how does that compare to a petrol equivalent? Now, the brand new Fiat 500 1.0 MHEV, Dolce Vita Plus Euro 6 is what I found, at £14,990. That is £13,000 cheaper. That's a whole car cheaper than the electric one. So I think you can probably already see where I'm headed with this, but hang on for my conclusion at the end. Road tax isn't free on this car. It's £170 a year, and allegedly it will do 61 miles to the gallon. Now, 10,000 miles per year at 61 miles per gallon means you're going to require 164 gallons of petrol. Petrol is currently £1.53 a litre. 164 gallons is 745 litres. 745 times £1.53 is £1,139 per year in fuel. So £1,139 plus your road tax for the year and times those by three years, and your running costs for the petrol car is almost £4,000, okay? So your running costs are more expensive. 2500 for the electric car, and 4000 for the petrol car. However, the elephant in the room, the elephant that is never discussed in the running costs of electric cars is the purchase price. As I said before, that is a whole £13,000 more expensive than the petrol one. The electric car is twice the price. So, instead of just looking at the running costs per year, you have to then add in the price of the car, which means three years, everything included, purchase of the car, petrol and road tax in the petrol car is £18,922 where three years with the electric car is £30,315. £12,000 more expensive. Ridiculous. Right, so what would I do? Uh, obviously, I would buy neither of them. I would go and buy an old Volvo. But for the purposes of this video, I wouldn't. I would buy this. This is a Fiat 500 1.2 lounge three-door Bluetooth. It is used second hand with 14,985 miles on the clock. I like this because I like the color, I like the wheels, and I like the interior. It's retro enough without overdoing the retro thing. So this is 8,750 pounds from the dealer. It's only done 15,000 miles and it'll do 46 miles to the gallon. The road tax is 165 pounds a year. So 
10,000 miles in my Fiat 500 is going to be uh, 215.9 gallons. That's 981 litres. 981 times £1.53 is 1,500 pounds there or thereabouts fuel costs for the year. Add your road tax, and that means the running costs for my Fiat 500 that I've chosen over three years is £5,000. Significantly more expensive than the other two, I think you'll find. So, running costs over three years. A brand new electric Fiat, two and a half grand. A brand new petrol Fiat, four grand. And my used Fiat, five grand. I'm costing you £1,000 here. But wait. The total cost of the purchase, fuel and tax over three years with my lovely little black Fiat is £13,745 because I'm buying a cheaper car. It's the same thing. It's just someone else has sat their bum in the seat for 15,000 miles, but it's essentially the same thing. So my Fiat 500 is 14 grand. A brand new petrol Fiat 500 is 19 grand and a brand new electric one is £30,000. There we go. That is the maths on the three options for Fiat 500. Um, I quite like the new electric Fiat 500, but I don't like the fact that they've softened off all the edges of it. I think the older Fiat 500 was better looking. I think the one that I chose was better looking. However, if I wanted a Fiat 500, I would buy an Abarth or a Reva. The Reva is my absolute favourite special edition Fiat. So thank you very much for joining me on this EV versus petrol debate. I don't really think it's much of a debate. I think the minute we stop paying people to get into electric cars, the world will start to see sense once more. Let me know what you think in the comments. Which one would you have bought uh, and would you, done, would you have done what I would have done, which is just go out and buy a Volvo 850 for 1,500 quid, which would have been way cheaper than all of those three in the long run, and you could take it to car shows. Thanks for watching and sorry for my voice because I'm feeling a bit ill today. I made myself ill yesterday by getting too cold and um, I'm struggling with the light. Everywhere I've gone to try and film today, I'm ending up with one spotlight on one part of my face or people with leaf blowers. Why is everybody using a leaf blower today? Leaf blowers are the dumbest thing in the world. Use a broom. It's better for you, it's better for the environment and it's cheaper. Right, thanks for, another, thanks for watching another sensible Jeff video.